Hello. Hello. I'm a uh, I'm Barry Johnson. I'm a plumbing tutor and assistant manager at Barry Johnson's Plumbing, or BJ's as everyone calls us. <laughs> now I'm here today to talk a bit about plumbing. Going to go through some of the things that you can expect in the industry. Now, the statistics show that only 30% of you are actually going to make it into the plumbing industry. The rest of you will drop out to follow some, some other pipe dream. One of, most, <laughs> one of the most popular ones being crack cocaine. <laughs> right, so there are three basic rules to plumbing that must never be forgot. Rule number one. <laughs> Find the problem, okay? There needs to be a problem. Otherwise, why are we here? <laughs> Rule number two, when we found the problem, we... What do we do when we found the problem? Solve. Solve. Do fuck all. <laughs> Get an estimate. Lie about it. <laughs> all of them, eventually. <laughs> but let's, let's simplify, well, let's simplify, simplify it. Simplify. What we fix the problem. Yes, we rule two fix the problem. And as of recently, the new third rule, which was uh, issued by the Institute of Plumbing and Heating Engineering, rule three. Get someone better in to do it. Avoid acting like you're in a porno. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know that sounds a bit weird, but the porn industry is ruining the plumbing industry's good reputation. It's a. Uh, <laughs> It's ripped us a new one. And as future plumbers of the world, it is your job to rectify this. <laughs> These plumbing pornos have had such an effect on our customers that in the last year, 50% of UK plumbers have had sexual misconduct lawsuits falsely filed against them. Simply because the customers were getting the wrong end of the dick stick. <laughs> <laughs> we also get perverted customers. Um, they like to sit around the kitchen naked while we're hunched under the kitchen sink changing the U-Bend. Some uh, young plumbers don't really like this. I myself don't mind too much. Uh, most of the people I work for have got a bit of money. They must have a bit of money. They uh, keep asking me for golden showers. It'll cost you. You're best going off of like plastic or or chrome. I was once at uh, this job, and this uh, this uh, this woman really pissed me off. She kept staring at my butt crack, and I had to turn around and I said, "Oi, love, my face is up here." That's a uh, true story. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people seem to think that us plumbers are kinky deviants, and we're up to no good. A mate of mine once sent me a text that he would seen my advert scribbled on the back of a toilet door at his local. It said, need someone to check your plumbing works? Cool, 07652 for BJ's. <laughs> when he told me this, I went mental. I'd only written down the wrong bloody number. <laughs> I don't know who was getting those calls, but it weren't me. I potentially lost a lot of business from that. Okay, so bear that in mind when you're, when you're writing that down. Right, now, as plumbers, it's not our intention to misrepresent the trade. Uh, so the Institute of Plumbing and Eating Engineering have now produced a list of popular plumbing-related words which are banned from use. They feel that these words might be giving the customers the, the wrong idea. Um, so for, as of now, we can no longer use the following words. Ambient head pressure. <laughs> a queefer. <laughs> blur, back, black blur, back flow preventer. It's <laughs> quite a few. <laughs> Ball check valve. <laughs> Ball joint. <laughs> Ball passage. <laughs> Ball cock. <laughs> blow bag. <laughs> Box flange. <laughs> Braided hose. <laughs> Buttress. <laughs> cock. Cockhole cover, <laughs> combustion chamber, combustion gases, corporation cock, <laughs> curtain drain, dip tube, discharge head, strain valve, elongated extension tube, <laughs> flange, flapper, flapper valve, flexible connector, hardness leakage, horizontal branch. <laughs> 
Mano. <laughs> Nipple. <laughs> Nipple extractor. <laughs> Open front. Orifice. Penal valve. Petcock. Pressure head. Pull out spray. <laughs>